So here in medicals, you know what a compounded medicine is. Yeah. So it, for, for the listeners, if you go to the doctor and there is no drug that's available that, you know, suits your condition, they are allowed to specialty order from a pharmacy. They can mix things together, you know, a concoction, like a recipe, two, three things together um, that essentially alter an FDA approved drug. And as a specialty medicine for you. The other thing they did is that they actually created a system where you could do it legally, you know, with visibility and register these products and actually mass manufacture compounds, which is, of course, almost sounds like an oxymoron because a compound is supposed to be a one by one thing. But they created this addition to the, uh, the pharmacy laws that it was called the 503B. 503A is the regular pharmacy. The 503B is this called Compound Outsourcing Center. And they basically allowed these facilities to register with FDA. You know, so they become federally regulated, not just state regulated, like normal pharmacies. And then these facilities could mass manufacture compounded drugs, you know, for indications that were being like chemotherapy as an example, you know, saline bags, things like that. And instead of doing it on a one by one basis, they could just make a big batch of them. And FDA regulated them. So they were, and they were registered with them, but they got the right to do it. And I feel like there may be an interesting opportunity to copy paste sort of what they did for the compounding pharmacies here because they were, they had to be GMP, they had to be inspected, they had to you know, have all their quality systems in place in order to sell the drugs. You had all the same testing, the aging data, the sterility data, but they were registered and visible. So it sounds a lot like the Japanese model. So my recommendation is they take the 503B thing for compounding and smack it on MSCs. And we don't have to reinvent the wheel if it's already there. We can just kind of drag the cursor in the system. I think that'd be cool.